So welcome back to another video, and uh, today we're going to flash mod an iPod 5th gen that I just got in the mail. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this box, and More bubble wrap. <laughs> so. <laughs> ha. Okay. So we got an opening tool. Nice. The iPod. Not many scratches either. Nice. And the flash mod. Look how tiny it is. And of course, the cable. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test to make sure the iPod actually works. Oh, there it is. Aha! And there we go. So we got all our tools. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick our opening tool in here. And what we're doing is there's little tabs that we're pushing. One minute, 37 seconds later. Alright. Now, we'll do that. Open it. Battery's supposed to be right here. I'm pretty sure that's why it's all messed up. We're going to do that. We got the ground cable. There we go. There's the hard drive. Now we take our flash mod. We put it in between this. Just like that. I'm just push it in. And put. Alright, that's not going anywhere. right then. Now, take our SD card and we just stick it in. There we go. Alright, we're going to do that. Now, we're going to, before we snap it in, let's restart it. Because it should not be working 
So, I'm gonna start restart. Yep. There we go. Connect to your computer. Use iTunes to restore. As you can see. Right there. So, this is a good sign too, because that means it's reading the drive. So, I'm gonna take the camera and uh, I'm gonna bring this downstairs and use with the computer. Alright, so here's the computer I use. It's, it kind of acts like a, a server and such. So, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the iPod. Alright. Okay, that's a good sign. Aha! iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Which is what we're gonna do. So I'm going to restore iPod. You can see iPod fifth generation software. All right. Well, it has been restored to factory settings. Okay. Oh, and there it goes. And yep, there it is. Do not disconnect. So the mod worked. And now we don't have a clunky hard drive. We have an SD card. Now we just wait till it, for it to come up on the computer. Welcome to your new iPod. Alright, so we're going to set this up. Okay, 29.30. And yep, there it is up there, 32 gigabytes. And if you saw it earlier, you would have seen that it's a 32 gigabyte SD card. So I'm going to go down. Just double check. Yeah, everything's good to go. And let's choose the music to sync. We're going to sync the entire library. And I'm going to change the name to the correct. Change this iPod. There we go. All right, now it's set to sync the whole library. Apply. That's all done. I'm going to reject it. And 
And here we go. Now we can unplug it. Alright. I think it's safe to say we can just snap this in. One more. Come on. Come on. Hit the brick. Mm. Yeah. All right, you get the point. There's brick. That's it, yeah. So if we go to settings, about capacity 29.6, aka 32 gigabytes, and we still have 23 gigabytes available, which is amazing. And there you go. And this is the iPod fifth and a half gen so it does have the search feature <laughs> you use the click wheel to search yeah i'm not wasting time doing that so yeah that's about it if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and i'll see you next time